any day you get to drive a Lamborghini has got to be an absolutely brilliant day. Now, I've driven several Lamborghinis over a few years and each of them has been far more exciting than the last. And uh, there's been a gap of a few years where I didn't get to drive a Lamborghini, but today I'm here at the MRTA to drive this, the Huracan Evo. It's an evolution of everything Lamborghini has done this far. It amplifies the Huracan to a whole new level, makes it far more appealing to a wider audience. It actually makes superheroes out of everyday ordinary drivers, probably even me. Lamborghini India introduced the Huracan Evo earlier this year, but we finally got our hands on this car to drive it here at the, at the racetrack. Now, the Huracan Evo has been built on four pillars. These are vehicle dynamics, the engine, design and aerodynamics, and of course, the vehicle interior, HMI. Of these, the vehicle dynamics and the aerodynamics, the focus was largely on developing these characters. The engine, in fact, has taken a slightly back seat, a slighter back seat compared to the dynamic aspects of this car. It's a far more nimbler, more agile, a lot more fun to drive than it ever has been before. So, Urakan Evo is the next and natural evolution of the most successful V10 in the Lamborghini family. And this uh, is designed to give you the amplified emotions in your everyday use, plus to give you the maximum performance on uh, the track and uh, the uh, other environment by improving the driving dynamics of the car. So we have enhanced the design of this car to improve the aerodynamics efficiency with Urakan Evo up to six times than the predecessor. The human machine interface, we have a 8.4 touch screen in the center tunnel of the car, which brings all the controls of the car at your fingertips. Plus we have a new telemetry system with which you can see that how you can improve your driving performance of the car. In February, we launched the car in India and we were the first market in the world to bring Urakan Evo to our customers. And the response has been very phenomenal. We are really encouraged uh, by the response we got from our customers. Uh, and uh, now, today, we bring this car for our customers to enjoy the amplified emotions, the driving dynamics, uh, what we could achieve with this uh, Urakan Evo here on the track. Powering the Huracan Evo is a naturally aspirated V10 engine, a 5.2 litre V10 engine. And this makes about 631 bhp with 600 Nm meters of torque and that power is delivered to all four wheels. Of course, there's a host of dynamic elements. Like I said, the vehicle dynamics were the central focus of development and this car feels that much more nimble, that much more agile. Having said that, it's a far easier and a simpler car to drive than most of the Lamborghinis that I have driven in the past. Uh, it still feels just as exciting, just a lot more sharper, a lot more focused, a lot more well-defined and that makes it far more accessible to anybody who would want to drive a supercar well enough on a racetrack or in any condition for that matter. One of the key elements in the Huracan Evo is an entirely new system called the LDVI. Now this system, it's a supercomputer that essentially predicts what the car should be doing in the future. Now it uses an array of accelerometers and gyroscopes that are positioned closer to the center of gravity, several supercomputers as well that uh, compute various actions at high speed and it determines depending on the inputs provided by the driver, the track conditions, the external environmental factors to set up the car for whatever it has to do in the future. Now this is an entirely revolutionary system, something that we haven't seen in a car of this order and it makes the Huracan Evo that much more dynamic, that much more exciting to drive. That's the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. It's been an absolutely brilliant day, fantastic time that I've had with this car. Been on a racetrack with a super sports car, well, you couldn't ask for anything more. Now, I'm definitely looking forward to spending more time with this car at some point in the future. But for now, I'm going to sign off. Goodbye.